What it do gang, your boy is back with another epic video and as you can see, I am in the new crib man. The new crib, you're looking at the new garage. I am excited about this right now. Doesn't look like much, but when I get everything together, which is a lot of crap, it'll open up this area some so I'll be able to work. Now, this is an upgrade from my previous garage. If you guys remember, man, my garage was only probably about from this wall to this wall. I mean, maybe a little bit wider because it could fit my car, but it wasn't much. I mean, I wasn't able to ever open my door all the way, but in here, man, lots of space. And like I said, it it's probably doesn't look like it right now just because of all the crap everywhere. But there's some stuff that's gonna go in the back. We just kind of unloaded everything just to put in here for now. And other stuff will be placed in other places, well, not the previous owners, but the original owners who owned this house actually used to live here. This garage is an extension that they built uh, off the house because this garage was never here. And they wanted to extend the bathroom area. So basically this is the bathroom on the other side in the house. Otherwise the garage would have went all the way to here, but they built a ba bathroom for their master bedroom. So it's dope because now we have two full bathrooms inside the house. So that's pretty dope. Up here, I'm actually gonna put a TV up there. So the biggest TV I can put up there, I'm gonna put up there. I guess uh, the original owners, when they use this garage, they had a TV up there, like an old school tube style TV with a VHS. I actually still have my VHS. Uh, I had that in storage. And the reason why I kept this is because all my high school football films and college and all that are all on VHS. If you guys don't know what that is, for all you youngins, look it up. It's probably ancient to you guys, but I still kept it because a lot of my videos are on VHS. So I will have to uh, save those or convert those over at some point. But in the meantime, I have this. Actually, I'm not gonna use that for up here. I just set it up there because I thought it would look uh, kind of funny up there. But I'm gonna put a flat screen up there. It's already wired for cable, so that'll be dope. Again, I'm gonna move those two bigger shelvings over here. Uh, I'm so, so glad, man, that I have this work area here. That is awesome. So I'm super excited about that. I'm also super excited about this as well. I think this is just some old cabinetry that he had from his remodel that he just left here. Uh, so that'll give me some more usable, workable space and storage. Also the clutch sink, the sink, man. I have running water, hot and cold. So that's cool. More cabinetry up there. Uh, pegboards, man. So I actually use pegboards if you guys didn't know that. Uh, they're good to hang stuff off of and whatnot. So have one over there as well, man. And man, I'm just excited just to get this space uh, going. He has outlets like every four feet. Outlets over here. Outlets, 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 outlets over there. Uh, he has these, these lights up here. So uh, a lot more lit than my old garage used to be. Uh, has those lights here and I still have my other LED lights as well. I'm really just gonna just take advantage of the more room that I have. So I can't wait to get uh, working on the Chevelle in this area. It's gonna be awesome. The only thing that it doesn't have in here is heat, but I have my dish heaters that I'm gonna be using in here. So that'll be cool. And I have some space heaters as well too. So, so that is pretty much it. I just wanna at least show you the garage. I could probably show you the more of the outside of the house at some point, but man, I'm so, so, so excited for new space. <laughs> I'm excited for the fridge, man. That way I can keep some beverages in there. I'm gonna be in out here all the time, man. My girl's probably gonna be like, yo, do you live in the house or in the garage? Uh, I'm probably going to be living more in the garage, to be honest, especially when the uh, when the Chevelle gets here. But yeah, don't tell her that. But I'm also excited to have the TV up there, man. I'm just excited about everything. Just the more room. Even though it's not much, man, it's clutch. All right, what it do, YouTube fam? I am back at the house right now. I'm about to unlock this door. Let me open this garage up. We are about to do the ultimate test. I must to see if the ride will fit in the garage. Matter of fact, let me take you to the garage here real quick. 
and as you can see it is a lot more cleared out right now a lot more cleared out i still got some straightening up to do let me go ahead and turn on these lights yeah so i got a lot of it wrapped up i just gotta finish this area here and also this right here so this is all my chevelle parts for the most part here uh those mufflers are actually listed for sale. Actually, somebody's blowing me up for them right now. Uh, I only listed them for like 40 bucks. I, I don't even know if they're good or not. They came with the Chevelle when I bought it. They're Flowmasters. I don't know what series, but I decided just to list them for 40 bucks. I wasn't really trying to get much out of them. But anyways, I'm getting blown up for them. So I'm like, damn, maybe I should list them for more. We're about to see if this thing will fit now this car is probably right around 17 feet long these are long cars man long cars and the garage overall is bigger definitely wider that's awesome um however when i was looking at it i was like man i wonder if this is going to be long enough to fit and i really hope it is i measured from the base of that cabinet down there the bottom and as you can see it goes in a little bit further and tucked under there past the uh the doors all the way to where the garage door comes down right here and it measured right around 17 feet so i'm like man i hope this car lengthwise fits and it looks long enough you know but looks can be deceiving i'm like man I got a nice new garage, something that I can actually work in, and if the Caprice don't fit, I'll be bummed. So we're gonna go ahead and try to test this out and see if this thing will fit, y'all. I don't think she's gonna fit. Dang. Too long. Let me grab my tape measure. Yeah, I got like six inches. Well, y'all, I think the Caprice is too long, man. Too long. Oh, that sucks. That really, 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 really sucks, man. I mean, I'll take you to the back. I mean, that's how much she's sticking out right here. I mean, a good maybe eight, nine inches. I mean, I'm, what I might do is I might... Ah. 
I might try to take the drawer out here, maybe take the uh, the door off and see if I can get the bumper to kind of stick in a little bit more, but then I'll be right up against <laughs> the cabinet and that sucks because then that won't make the cabinet useful to me. I won't be able to use it at all, like in the colder months. Oh man, well that really, 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 really sucks. So I'm gonna have to probably br take this to storage and bring my Regal back and leave this in storage and just try to deal with it. I don't know, man. That really, really, really sucks. Ugh. Well, damn y'all, this really sucks. So uh, it looks like my excitement about the new garage is not too exciting anymore because the Caprice won't fit. And I was doing some measurements, looking up some things as far as the Regal and the Chevelle. I think those will fit in here probably just barely it'll probably barely fit in here like it like this did at my other place um, but I won't be able to like really ever work on this in here unless it's like short day jobs or something like that so like if I had to like you know God forbid but if I had to like drop a transmission or something like that or whatever and and leave the car you know in here while it's not running uh, wouldn't be feasible because the garage door wouldn't close and so that really really sucks so i really gotta hope nothing ever happens to this um or i don't want to make any changes on this car which i actually had thought about making a few changes but um it's gonna have to be probably like quick day jobs or something like that uh unless i figure something else out i don't know y'all so that really bums me out. i was really excited to get this thing in here and make it work but as it look like it's going to so y'all it is the next day and if you can see as i know you can see that door is closed yes we made it happen cabinet is gone we just did it a little while ago and made it happen man box chevy aka flexing has got a new home and i'm loving it man i have so much more room to walk on this side and the other side which is even more room and i know it doesn't look like much but man this is like night and day difference from my previous garage till now to get this cabinet out of there it is awesome man it gives me an extra two feet at least and I still am able to get to the other side and I can walk through it pretty freely and get to the other side, uh, this area here. Now, this is what I'm actually loving about this garage, man. It has running water. They added the sink in here, hot and cold water. So that's awesome, man. I'm glad I have this as a work sink. Now I don't have to bring stuff inside and, and have my girl get mad at me for using the sink for car parts. <laughs> and uh, this area here, so the guy who had this house, who lived in it originally, he actually made this garage as an extension and he never actually used it to put a car in here. It was more just like his work garage. And so he put this sink in here and he had all this cabinetry and all this added in just for like as a workbench. This right here, as you guys saw, was another, um, some a cabinet that somebody was just getting rid of and it actually fit uh, this area perfectly. So he just put a countertop on it and used it as a workbench. He made this here and this is actually pretty dope. He put, uh, this is actually lifted off the ground down here where my foot is. And he made that so you could stick like a jack and other things in there to kind of get the jack out the way. And then, um, he put a, a slab on top and that way he had like a 40 gallon, um, uh, uh, compressor right here so this whole garage is actually wired where it can handle um, a fair amount of power so like if you wanted to run a compressor you wanted to work in here and run a bunch of power tools things like that I think he has it on a pretty high uh, uh, amp outlet said so the garage is not huge but it's definitely 
uh, at least half bigger than what mine was. So at least 50% bigger as far as width wise, maybe even more, but it's also longer and longer up in that area. And then up there, um, as discussed earlier, I could put a TV up there, which I'm actually gonna go look to buy one right now. It'll fit a small TV up there, so I'm gonna do that right now. But man, all this space is great, man. If you guys remember, and I really never went uh, in depth on my old garage because there really wasn't nothing to see and it was kind of old and run down, but this, cap, this uh, storage rack used to be about right here. So literally I had this much room to kind of walk in between my cars. So this is like lovely, lovely, lovely right here. You know, I've actually been toying with the idea of getting one of those, uh, gosh, what are those things called? Those little lifts that lift up from the floor that actually raise it up about three feet or something like that. Um, it's kind of like a power lift, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know the exact name of it, but I thought about getting one of those just to have because uh, we probably will be at this location for a good while. I wanna take advantage of this garage the best I can. So I might invest in those since I work on my cars a fair amount. Uh, but yeah, y'all, it's just really just tidying up the garage, getting things uh, in its proper homes and places. I'm just excited about it all, man, and just to have this area to work in and just more space just in general is awesome it's awesome so but yeah yeah i'm gonna go ahead and and uh cut this video off now but you guys know what to do man like comment subscribe share do it all man do all that good stuff i am out deuces peace out and you know i gotta leave you with the goods the goods if you guys have never seen this my girl got this for me when i was in that issue of car craft magazine yeah 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 if you guys haven't seen or heard of this issue when i was in that issue of car craft magazine definitely leave a comment and i'll show you guys or i'll give you guys a link where you guys can see that article on hotrod.com anyways i'm out deuces